The Industrial Technology Research Institute has made big strides in its research and development on strokes, which is among the top 10 causes of death in the country. One innovation is a system that lets surgeons pull out clots by inserting a catheter into a blood vessel. Another groundbreaking technology is a foam material that can replace stitches after brain surgery. After brain surgery, the protective lining of the brain has to be closed back up, and that's usually done with sutures. But using this technology by eTree, surgeons can repair the lining simply by spraying foam. This foam is made of collagen, which can be absorbed by the body, and it's mixed with high-pressure gas. After coming into contact with body heat, it solidifies within 10 seconds into a gelatinous form. This technology was derived from eTree research. It was in fact transferred over from eTree. Actually, more than half our team members are from eTree. It's a team of talent that this country has been cultivating for a long time. And there is more good news for patients with cerebrovascular diseases. This catheter can be inserted into blood vessels to suck out blood clots that obstruct circulation. The device uses nickel-titanium alloy wire that's just 0.35 millimeters wide. It's an advanced solution that takes aim at a global market worth 700 million U.S. dollars. We use a manufacturing supply chain that produces U.S. medical equipment. We take these technologies abroad for production because that way it's easier to enter foreign markets. In the 5 Plus 2 Industrial Innovation Program, biomedical projects are very important. Eatree itself works in the biomedical equipment sector and it has excellent capabilities there. As for how to transfer this technology and talent into market-ready products, I think that this case is a great success story. The government has poured tremendous resources into developing the domestic biomedical industry. This investment in innovation is paying off with the opening of new markets.